Welcome back to the Sports Mall Sofa. We're here to talk about the semi-final between Brazil and Germany. Who do you have as favourites, Pascal? Uh, Germany, for me. I mean, I think Brazil, I mean, they started as the three tournament favourites, but for this game, they've lost their two best players. Neymar's injured, Thiago Silva suspended, and that's why, for me, Germany have got to start as favourites. I mean, it is a big loss to lose your two best players like that. I think Silva, they'll be able to replace more than Neymar because, you know, they've got Dante who can come and stuff like that. But Neymar, for me, is a replaceable for me. Yeah, been... I mean, they're not exactly blessed of attacking options, are they, up there? I mean, talk about Bernard coming in, William maybe, but Neymar's a star man and they've got Fred and Hulk, but they just haven't really done anything, have they? And mm. I just think they're saying about, you know, it's the Brazil, it's the whole thing that's going around it. I think even with those two players, Germany are a better team, but I have Brazil as favourites just because of you know, everything that goes with it. They found a way to win so yeah. far, haven't they? Yeah, so, but yeah. Neymar's been central to that, I think. Mm, I mean, you were saying about Dante, I mean, he hasn't played a single minute in this tournament. I mean, that, no. that could affect him. And I mean, Closer had such a bad game in the quarterfinal that he's almost definitely not going to play. Yeah. And that'll bring Muller back up front and he's going to cause the two yeah. centre-backs problems. I mean, David Luiz, we know he's a bit vulnerable and yeah. alongside a centre-back who hasn't played yet. That's a recipe for disaster, I think. I think Dante's a good player, but he always gives you a chance, doesn't he? You feel like he's mm. going to give you something when you're playing against him and they don't need a second chance to lay people like Muller and who's going to play up front for Germany. So I, I, I expect goals in this one. It's been tight so far, isn't it? A few games, quarter yeah, finals and yeah. stuff, but I'm expecting a few goals in this mm. game. I mean, do you think he's going to drop Ozil? I think he could do. I mean, Ozo hasn't impressed so far and they've got so many no. midfield options uh, for Germany that he could easily job Ozo and not lose any quality from the team, I think. Whether he want to keep a bit of consistency in his team selection, he might well choose to do that and not change it at such a big stage at the semi-final. I, mean, I think he's got to drop him. He really hasn't. Important, I don't think he's played yeah. well in any of the games. I mean, mm. Goetze is likely to come in mm. if he does drop him, but if Closer's moving out as well, that means another player will come in. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not quite sure if Ozil will get dropped. Dante for Bayern Munich seems to be um, weak against pace as well, counter attacking yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, sure. And Ozil doesn't really play like that, does he? Whereas someone like Gotsu is more capable of playing like that. So that could be how handy there. I suppose there's well. a case for Scherzer sure coming in as well. Maybe, yeah. maybe to start, but he's better mm. off the bench, I think. But, okay. yeah. School prediction. I think, I don't, like I said, I think Brazil are going to win. I don't know why. I think Germany are a better team, but I think Brazil are going to win. I think it's going to be 2-1 in 90 minutes. I've backed Brazil all the way through the tournament, but I think without their two best players, I'm going Germany 2-1. Uh, Germany 1-0 for me. Yeah, like you say, I mean, I think Brazil are going to maybe struggle to score a goal um, and just Germany to nick it, yeah. Mm. yeah. Thanks for watching. Join us again soon.